Good evening everybody, Celtics A4, 2 Support 22, let's play Omega Quintet. Last time I left off, we just finished up the chapter 4 in one episode. Hmm. <laughs> Cause yeah, that that chapter was pretty pretty damn short. But I ain't complaining. So today's episode we're gonna view some uh, some events to increase everyone's uh, affection, starting with the uh, Kana. So let's see what her friend's all about. So how is everyone? Today is uh, August uh, the 3rd, 2015. Just got done watching the Fosters. And yeah, that was a pretty tense ass episode. But with Rita getting arrested because she was accused for slapping Chloe. Not Chloe Price of the, the Life is Strange, but Chloe as a random character, I don't know. But yeah. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I've been playing some Wind Waker all day today. I'm not, oh, and, I, and I actually got all the heart pieces. And yes, I did get that heart piece at the uh, Salvage Shop Labyrinth where the uh, hero was, trying, was supposed to be out in the uh, HD version. But in the GameCube version, it's, 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 it's just a heart piece. Oh, and uh, another thing, and uh, if you remember my Skype status uh, like this morning, I found a game breaking glitch on the, uh, on the, uh, on the GameCube version of Wind Waker. And I. I think doing the last play of my Wind Waker HD, I think I already explained what you had to do to, to create this game-breaking glitch. See, it's when you it's when you look for the uh, for the Triforce shards, and when you go to the ghost ship, when you open that chest for that Triforce sh uh, shard or Triforce chart, if you're playing the GameCube version, if you try to uh, jump slash the above the treasure chest, you'll you'll freeze the game. Yeah, it'll, yeah, the game actually locks up. You try to uh, attack the chest. By doing a jump slash on top of it, I was like, "Holy shit! What the hell?" Then that happened. <laughs> I mean, I, I could have showed up, but nah, it was gonna be a five-second video. I mean, someone already did upload on YouTube. You wanna check it out? She's like tug tug. She went from saying poke poke to tug tug. Oh yeah, we're in the fun fact. Uh, I noticed the uh, YouTube video page has changed a little bit. I mean the video player, because the, the black bar is, is no longer there anymore, and it, and it looks so retarded. Well, here's the thing. I go on YouTube this morning. I was listen. I was listening to the uh, Mogera music. And I still had the I still had the uh, old video page. Then Ruby skyping out of nowhere, say, "Oh, the video page looks different." I'm like, no, it doesn't, because I still have the old uh, video page. So then a few minutes later, I try to watch I try to watch a, uh, a, a a let's play video, and yep, the video page changed. It looks so fucking retarded. The freaking slide bar is a lot redder now, and the black bar isn't there anymore. All right, and uh, Kana's affection rose. Oh, and, and speaking of Kana, she has another event. Let's view it. Stare. Oh, I thought that was a uh, talk staring. I was like, 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 like I'm staring at her boobs. <laughs> oh yeah, I brought I brought a new PS4 game today, and that's uh. Only to Barra C2 Chaos, and I believe it's a, I believe it's a, it's either a sequel to uh, Bikini Summer Slayers, the one I did for the Wii, or, or I believe it's a it's a remake of the PS2 version. I even knew, I even knew Only to Barra came up with the PS2 to begin with, but but I heard it's it's, it's a remake of the PS2, and I gotta say that game is pretty amazing and. And yes, that game has a lot of fan servers in it. And the best part is that all the female characters, well, most of the female characters like uh, Anya and um, Kangura, they're half naked. Oh yeah, and, and, oh yeah, and, and there's a DLC where uh, where you can have the costume. If th th there's a costume that that lets the lets the uh, what's her name? The female characters put strawberries on their titties, and 
and a banana under her crotch. I'm not joking. There's a DLC costume for that. All they wear is a strawberry on, on her titties and a banana under her, under her crotch. And they do show her ass too. I don't know if I, I don't know if I, now I don't know if I want to show it up because I don't want to get, I don't want to get my account banned for, for that fan service moment, but yeah. And how they get that DLC? Well, I actually got the, uh, the, 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 the limited edition, even though I didn't pre-order it. Because here's the thing, I'm with the game stuff, I was going to pre-order the, um, Onji Barra C2. But it was already out. It had already came out, and because Ross 51, he told me it was gonna come out on August August 28th. So Ross 51, you're wrong on that one. The game was already out, so I don't know who told you that it was gonna come out on August 28th. Maybe some asshole didn't don't even know how to do some research. But yeah, that, that game, that game is, is lots of fun. But the best part about it, the fan service. They do got some nice boobs though. And they're half naked. Technically, they're... Technically, they're kind of completely naked if you get that DLC I was telling you about. But you have to, you have to get the, uh, the limited edition. To get that deal, to get that uh, DLC costume. Yep, it, it's it's just uh, Aya, for example, has a strawberry on her titties and a banana under her crotch. And it's freaking hot too. It's smoking hot. And my and speaking of hot, it's hot as fuck in my room. Like god damn. Ah, uh, wish winter was here already. So it can cool down. And her affection rolls up again. So anyway. Oh yeah, remember my son in my Sonic Heroes Let's Play last night? Um I was I was saying how I didn't really like the Mogera music on the GameCube version as much as I uh I did on the HD version. Well, let's just say all that changed now. I will listen to Mogera music again, the GameCube version one, and it's really not that bad as I thought it was. I was just a little upset that it wasn't too catchy as the uh, HD version was. But yeah, I do I do enjoy the music somewhat. And all I'm gonna say right now, to people, to people who got me on Skype, keep keep. Can you, uh, wait a minute. What I'm trying to say here. Oh yeah, if you if you guys happen to hear me sing the Magera theme of the GameCube version of Wind Waker, please do not make fun of me singing like like what that money whoring bitch Shantae did. Cause I don't respect that bullshit. I thank you. There, that feels better now. I don't I don't want I don't want nobody making fun of me. Uh singing the Magara music because that bitch had no right to listen in on me while I was, when I was in the Skype call with her. Fuck she thinks she is. So now I'm on I'm my way to get on the Trifle Shard so I can unlock Ganon's Castle and beat the standard version once and for all. Yeah, stop saying so much. That's all you're saying, is sigh. Jesus Christ, man, it's fucking hot. Oh my god. I'm barely sweating. And her affection just rose. Alright. I could have sworn I saw some events upstairs, so let's check it out. Oh, yep, there is one. Oh, there's one right here for Aria. Let's check her out.
Oh yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record a new playthrough for the uh, Game Industrials. It's most likely gonna be a Raw videos. Cause we're still trying to rip up uh, Sonic 06, the commentary part. Once again, like I said in the previous video, I don't trust you, Arya. What else I do? So that's about it. Just got me a new PS4 game. I need to borrow C2 Chaos, which is fucking amazing. Yes, I. Yeah, that game came out like like a week ago, I believe. But seriously, I don't know who told Raza that the game was coming out on August 28th, because I was gonna, because I was I was gonna pay it off today, but I found out it was already out, and I somehow got the uh, the limited edition, even though I didn't pre-order it, which makes me very happy. Yeah, because right now I am trying to save it for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, which comes out September 1st. And my number 9 comes out, I believe, like, like, four or five days after. Then Super Mario Maker comes out on the, uh, on uh, September the 11th. Yeah, no joke there, it does come out on September the 11th, Super Mario Maker. Excuse me, Super Mario Kai Soul Maker. <laughs> That's what everyone's calling it now. I'm calling it too, damn it. Alright, and her affection just rose. Okay, there's a Toys event. Hmm, guess we're not gonna see any action in today's episode. Yeah, what the hell she what the hell did she eat? I went my ship in uh, Otoha and talk, but I thought they can't get in relationships, like that Star Wars bullshit. <laughs> now, I met I met as in a bullshit rule in that in that film. I enjoy Star Wars, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I was referring to uh, Anakin and Padme. Uh, they cannot fall in love with each other, but they did anyway. Wait a minute. Okay. Just in case I skip that one dollar too quickly. Haha! <laughs> yeah, it looks like she's accusing uh, Top for seeing a Toha. I'm saying. Where are those eyes? Yeah, I'm still gonna take a shower after, after I finish recording, cause goddamn, it is hot as shit in here. Cause I need, I need to cool down. And Toa's affection rose. Oh, it's another event. Let's check it out.
if you have time, I'm gonna see if I can leave the office and see this. I'm gonna see if there's if there's if there's any side quests I can do in the uh, in in the town section. If not, I'll probably do that off camera. Yeah, it kind of is. If you don't know how to dance, that is. So anyway, I suggest you guys give uh, Anchi Bora Kick C2 Chaos a go. It's only exclusive for the PS4. I already got it. Some long defense, but I'm trying to increase their infection so because I am trying to unlock the true ending route. Oh boy, yeah, my commentary died out, huh? <laughs> no, that's a safe, but this lumpy hunt cutscene. Yeah, I'm gonna talk out. Cause yeah, I don't think I don't think it's gonna, there's, there isn't gonna be any action in today's episode. Just nothing but cutscenes. Okay, so we unlock something in the PPS. Complex Crescent. Okay, so that's that. Is there any more? I did see I did see I did see more up upstairs. So there's a Koyoka's event and any more after that? Hmm. Oh shoot, there's another oh there's another one. So let's view uh K Koyoka's first. Wow that's wow that transition though. You saw that? Wow, Momoka's being a total straight up bitch right now. Come on. Oh no. Oh no, don't do it, don't do it, don't you dare do it. What do you do, do not call her old. Cause she will kick your ass. Oh boy, <laughs> look how she's singing back and forth. Oh shit, she done it. She done it. Oh! 
That was a bad guess there, uh, Kyoka. You should have never did that. You thought she was four years old, forty years old, implying that she's old. Just run! Oh shit. That didn't end well. Huh. Yeah, because you call her old. Yeah, you told she was 40 years old. Yeah, this one. Yep, yeah, one, one. That's one of those recurring gags. But, but despite the fact she pills up Momoka, her uh, Kyoko's affection still rose. And my goodness, and it's an Aria event. Holy crap! All right, have a re have a review one more, and then we'll view the rest in the next episode. All right, this is gonna be the last one we're gonna view for this video. Cause I do not want to make this video longer than it should be. And once again, sorry about the commentary dying out. <laughs> That's alright. Even her freaking cat look evil. See, this is why I don't I don't really trust Arya. I mean I know, I know some shit's gonna go down. I'm calling, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it right now. I'm calling it. Oh, that's there. Insert the freaking squirrel death stare theme. Da, da, da. Just imagine that cat's head was Luigi's face. Off of Mario Kart 8, oh my goodness, man! I bet Nintendo would have face bomb if that was the, if that was going to happen. <laughs> why are you putting Luigi in my game? Why are you putting your character? Why you have my character in your game? <laughs> Holy shit! All right, Arya's affection rose. All right, that's it. All right, yeah. I think we're gonna call it an episode. Before we end the episode, let's 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 uh, check our affection. See how well we did. Okay, so Kana is about to go to level three. Katoha and Nene just made it to uh, level two. And they still got a long way to go, Arya and uh, Koyoka. Alright, so this is it for part 22. Let's play Omega Quintess. So in the next video, we're going to um, view that event over there. And look, it looks like Nay or Arya. I can't tell from there, but we'll find out in the next video. Let's play Omega Quintess. So until next time, Celtics8402, out.